Uh, good, evening, good evening, everybody. The uh, rescheduled March 28th meeting is being called to order on March 23rd at uh, 6 p.m. Uh, all commissioners are present with the exception of Commissioner Garrity. Uh, do we have any hazard deletes, Mr. Peterson? No. Nope. <clears throat> okay, if not, we'll move on to approval of the minutes of the March 7th, 2023 and March 14th, 2023 meeting minutes. Make a motion. Okay, we have a motion by Commissioner Andrea, support by Commissioner Bayless to approve the minutes. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. <clears throat> item four is citizens form. Uh, nobody is coming forward. Move to item number five, the consent agenda. <clears throat> approve invoices greater than 10,000. Approve the bills and ACH transfers dated February, February 24th through March 17th, 2023. Item 5B, approve the payroll paid and overtime report for the March 9th, 2023 pay date. Item 5C, approve liability coverage form from the League of Minnesota Cities. Item 5D, approve resolution 12-23, the grant navigator program. Item 5E, approve request for contribution to Hibbing Chisholm Rotary Club in the amount of $150. And what will be the wish of the commission? Make a motion to approve consent agenda. We have a motion by Commissioner Bayless, support by Commissioner Babbage to approve, approve consent agenda items A through E. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. We'll move on to uh, number six, financials and risk management. Uh, approve 307 feeder breaker replacement. Uh, Mr. Peterson. Uh, thank you, Chair Hart. Um, commissioners, uh, feeder 307 is one of the two feeds that connects the Hibbing Renewable Energy Center to the uh, substation um, in the Kerr location. And um, the, 30, the substation side of 307 has been updated, and we are now in the process of updating the pair sister of that update in the power plant. And um, this uh, request is for engineering services to complete that engineering of 307 um, for the power plant side. This has been on um, my list of projects to get done for the last two years and very happy that we'll be moving forward with it today. And this amount is included in the capital forecast for electrical work this fall. Thank you, Mr. Peterson. I'll make a motion to uh Approve the 307 feeder breaker replacement as presented. Is there support? Support. Okay. Motion by Chair Hart, support by Commissioner Bayless to approve item 6A, the feeder, 6, 307 feeder breaker replacement. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Move on to item 6B, <coughs> award public bid 2023 15 boiler 4. Indoor fan replacement. Uh, thank you, Chair Hart. Um, a recommendation uh, analysis was provided uh, for the two bids provided for the Boiler 4 ID fan replacement. Um, and the two bids were one was provided from ESL and the other from BNR Engineering. Um, the analysis I forwarded uh, to, uh, to you all um, includes. Uh, a recommendation to go forward with the bid from BNR Engineering for the total amount of $316,620. Uh, um, and even though that is higher than the bid received from ESL, the exclusions from the bid um, spec that ESL provided and the extra spare parts more than make up for the difference in the prices. So um, with that, I would recommend the commission approve and award the Boiler 4 ID fan replacement to be in our engineering in the amount of $316,620. Happy to answer any question the commissioners may have. Thank you, Mr. Peterson. That will be the wish of the commission. I guess I'll make a motion to approve. Okay. 
I'll second it. Okay, thank you. We have a motion by uh, Commissioner Bayless and support by Commissioner, was it Ant? No, it was Babbage to approve the uh, purchase from BNR Engineering in the amount of $316,620. Is that correct, Mr. Peterson? That is correct. Okay. Any further discussion? <coughs> oh. I just had a couple of, just a quick question. So you're saying that what we're getting in extras on this is going to be worth the, the overlap? Correct. Can you elaborate a little bit? Yeah, if you, um, if you uh, draw your attention to Kurt's memo, um, which is in the supplemental pack, um, he talks about the, the exclusions from the original, from this bid from ESL, and not only did they not um, accept a couple of our standard terms in our, our bid um, spec document, they also left out kind of a key part of that would be up to us to provide. And that key part of the, of the whole ID fan project um, would require additional engineering and work on the part that is estimated to exceed the cost of the bid provided by BNR engineer. Uh, one more. Just for clarification, is this the fan that we were talking about in one of the previous meetings um, that, that was going to have a wall having to be replaced? Yes, this is that fan. Okay. This is the, uh, so Boiler uh, 4 has an induced draft fan which sucks things out and it all goes through the ESP at the end. Um, and this fan has been uh, welded upon uh, multiple times um, to the point where we're, uh, it's been repaired multiple times and it's very um, out of balance and we're at the point where we can no longer um, continue to repair the fan uh, due to its um, structural limitations and end of life and so um, this is a high risk item um, that you know needs to get replaced this, this summer. So and the side of the boiler four building will need to be cut open so this fan can come out. And we do intend to also leave a permanent access door in its place so that in the next five years or 10 years, whenever we need to replace this fan and have, or have any other critical components of Boiler 4 be swapped out, uh, we'll have another entry point. Thank you. Yep. Any other questions? Chair? Luke, did you say that the ESL bid actually did not meet your specifications? Correct, and if you look at the bid um, submittal, which we include in the original packet, they crossed out a number of the original bid specs that they did not agree with. Chair, and I think, I think that's important to note. There is this large financial discrepancy, but to note that the, uh, maybe when you're in a Councilor ba Commissioner Bayless's motion to reflect that the e ESL bid did not meet the specifications as set forth from the Public Utilities Commission. Therefore, it's really not a, it's not an appropriate to even consider that bid if it didn't meet your specs. Thank you. I would take that. You would amend it to absolutely um, the lowest qualified bid that met the, mm -hmm. met the specifications. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Correct. And you would support that. Yes. Okay. Uh, is there any further discussion? If not, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carried. <clears throat> okay, we'll uh, move on to item 6C, award public bid 2023-17, uh, dig prep and restoral. Uh, Mr. Peterson. Uh, thank you, Chair Hart. If the commission will remember, uh, we excluded the dig prep and restoral bid from our standard annual terms and quotes just to better time um, with other uh, pricing locks that uh, Vendors have to obtain this time of year as they secure future supplies of uh, gravel and concrete. And um, the uh, we received, um, and maybe if I could, um, Ms. Dickinson, would you mind approaching the podium just to kind of go over the review? Good evening. So um, for the public bid for the dig prep and restorals, we received three bids uh, for the bid opening with two of the local contractors present for that bid opening. Um, two of the bids came in pretty close, one from SBS and then the other one from Nick Bogalis Construction. Staff spent some time going over the tally and uh, looking over the financial impact to the utility rate payers. And uh, after speaking with the foremans, we really had to weigh the priority of awarding this public bid um, to the restorals for um, 
for the streets, sidewalks, and boulevards. Uh, SBS was the lower bidder for those portions of the entire bid package, and uh, we would feel comfortable moving forward with making that recommendation to approve uh, hiring them for uh, 2023 and 2024's dig prep and restorals. Thank you, Stephanie. Okay, so I would make a motion to approve the uh, bid for restorals to SBS. Is there support? Support. We have a motion by Chair Hart, support by Commissioner Andrea to approve the 2023 dig prep restorals to SBS. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Okay, item number 6D, <clears throat> authorize approval of Hunt Electric bid for work on boiler 4A electrostatic precipitator. Thank you, Chair Hart. Oh, <laughs> um, before you, commissioners, is, a, is an uh, estimate not to exceed uh, from Hunt Electric to provide the electrical work, uh, time and materials for the electrostatic precipitator. Um, as you drive by the, uh, the Hibbing Renewable Energy Center campus, um, that's the big brown box in front of Boiler 4. Um, can, can everybody hear me? Okay. Um, that uh, uh, ESP is a very large piece of uh, pollution control equipment that is uh, three stories tall and it's sitting two stories in the air. Um, it requires uh, removal of that entire unit um, down to the ground. Um, for those fields uh, to be replaced and inside the, the, that box is basically a big bug zapper we've talked about so many times. Well, there's a lot of electrical cables and conduits and pieces that come to this and um, the, it exceeds the amount of our in-house <coughs> electrical staff to do and as a capital project uh, is appropriate to um, hire out to outside um, co electrical contractors, in this case Hunt Electric, uh, which we are recommending for approval for the ESP. Thank you, Mr. Peterson. Um, <clears throat> so are you looking for approval of option one or option two? Um, we are looking for approval of, I'm sorry, I don't want to get that wrong. We are looking for approval for option one in the amount of $76,210. Thank you. Uh, what will be the wish of the commission? I'll make a motion. Support. We got a motion by Commissioner Babbage, support by Commissioner Andrea to approve the work on the uh, boiler 4A electro electric static precipitator in the amount of $76,210 to Hunt Electric. Any further discussion? Yeah. Luke, can you elaborate on the difference between the option one and two for me? Um, bear with me here, Commissioner. Well, they're going to cut the conduits apart, Mr. Bayless. Yeah. Yeah. And option one is rethreading them so okay. they could never come apart. Option two is using compression fittings. Okay. Which, depending if it's vertical or horizontal, it could come apart, possibly, if there's vibration there. I can't answer that question. Right, okay. But for this dollar amount, I think it's worth it Okay. to rethread them. That's good enough for me. So. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Any Thank other you. questions? If not, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Uh, item number 6E, review recommendation and approval of resolution 13-23, power cost deferral. Mr. Peterson. Uh, thank you, Chair Hart. Um, commissioners, uh, before you is a, a recommendation to approve a resolution subject to our uh, regulatory accounting and deferral process that the commission adapted uh, earlier this year. Uh, uh, Russ Hissom and Bethany 
uh, Ryers from Baker Tilly are with us over Zoom, and I'll hand it over to them in a minute. Um, we, uh, HPU has relied upon a power purchase adjustment for, for many years, and um, that allows the um, ability to pass through fuel costs primarily or extra purchase power costs to the rate payers that may fluctuate uh, month over month. And uh, with this additional accounting structure that we have, it requires a little more formality to do it. And in this case, we are looking back uh, on 2022 and looking at how much uh, was not recovered based on the wholesale power costs um, in 2022 and will be passed on, um, spread out over the year in 2023 uh, through the PPA mechanism that we have on our customer's bill. And I, uh, before I uh, turn it over, this um, PPA amount is uh, 600, just over $600,000, and it reflects ab about less than half a cent a kilowatt hour um, PPA amount, um, or for an average uh, household that uses about uh, 1,000 kilowatt hours uh, a month, which at least one of, one of you uses. Um, you know, it comes out to be about five dollars a month on the power bill. So, if I could pass it over to um, uh, Baker Tilly. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm uh, Russ Sissom from from Baker Tilly, and uh, did the work on this. And uh, you know, Mr. Peterson couldn't have explained it any better. That's basically what it is: is that there was not a PPA in uh, 2022, so uh, the amount of collections through your rates was short um, of, of the amount that the PPA would have been. So we did a calculation at the end of the year and came up with a number of 638,711. And as Mr. Peterson said as well, and you might recall from your other meetings when we were talking about the accounting standard of governmental standard and 62 requires for these types of approval that the uh, commission uh, grant their approval through a formal resolution and a uh, recommendation for recovery in customer rates. So it allows us to take these costs off the income statement as an expense, defer them on the balance sheet, and then you'll collect them over time through customer rates. It's a pretty common, pretty common approach. If you folks have questions, I'd be, I'd be happy to answer those. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Gerd. I was in a meeting yesterday with Mr. Hissom and, and uh, the general manager. And if we're going to this cost recovery, uh, GASB formula, we have to uh, make this approval. and then basically that money just goes into the PPA pot and then it gets charged out during the year or as the time goes on. So it's, uh, it, it's the way you have to do it to adopt that uh, um, GASB rule and uh, be basically then you're, uh, you're consistent in your um, how you're handling the business and what you're charging people. So I'll offer the resolution uh, that's presented 13 23. Is there support? I'll support it. Is that you, Jamie? Oh. Yeah. We have a motion by Commissioner Gary, support by Commissioner Bayless to approve resolution 13 23. Um, the PPA uh, recovery over a five-year period. Um, any further discussion? Just one question. Yeah. Can, you, can you elaborate on the on the, the actual charge structure? So is it, is it like a flat among, across the board, or like how how is that going to be settled out? Uh, so uh, you know, Russ, if I can maybe take the first stab at it, and then if I say anything wrong, maybe correct it. But um, it's it's pretty simple. Um, the you know the the amount was determined to be the 600,000 uh, some, and, and then that gets divided by the total number of kilowatt hours um, consumed in our system, so that every ounce of kilowatt hour in 2022 should have received this additional um, half cent 
um, a charge on it that will basically roll forward into 2022. So um, uh, it will be a per, it will, it will flow through the energy rate on the bill um, that will be collected. And at the time in which we have uh, recovered the total amount, it will stop. So, um, Russ, did I misspeak there? No, that was, uh, that was perfect. That okay. Was, that's exactly how it works. So based on usage. Uh, why is it a five-year period? Why not one, two, oh. three? <clears throat> um, you know, it, it can be whatever period you choose. Um, you know, we put in five years. If, uh, I mean, if you so choose to do it all in one year, I would, you know, strike the five and add a one uh, to the resolution. And uh, that's, you know, probably the, you know, since it was, this is a one-year impact. It was the, uh, the amount that, that could have been collected or should have been collected in 2022. So I, probably a one-year recovery is more appropriate than five, but it's at the commission's discretion uh, for that. Thank you. Okay, any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carried. No, I was a, I was for it. Right. <coughs> okay, we'll move on to number seven, policy and governance. Uh, item 7A, approve recommendation to hire for meter reader vacancy. Mr. Peterson. Yeah, thank you, Chair Hart. Uh, for this item 7A, I'd like to um, call up um, our utility operation manager, Ms. Stephanie Dickinson, uh, to make the recommendation. Thank you. So uh, we had obviously the vacancy approved at a previous commission meeting and uh, the commission had also authorized staff to go ahead and post internally and externally at the same time with a due date of March 21st. We had 20 applicants for the meter reader position, which was outstanding. Um, we took time, staff took time as the applications were coming in to make sure that we were scoring applicants. And uh, based off of past work experience, links in previous positions that had relative uh, same, similar work tasks, analyzing data or working outside, walking, you know, active days. Um, and then also ultimately, taking a look at how they would blend with the other uh, team members on our, for our meter reader group. So um, ultimately, we did end up calling in five, the top five scores once we went through the rating sheets uh, for, app, or excuse me, for interviews. And uh, we did have one that declined to come in for an interview, but the other four were able to make it in time uh, to get a recommendation here tonight for uh, Chair Hart and the commissioners. So um, I would like to offer a recommendation to hire Chad Rentla as our new meter reader collect, or excuse me, meter reader, and uh, of course, all, you know, contingent on background screening and drug tests. Thank you, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. What will be the wish of the commission? In your motion. Motion. Support. Nope. We have a motion by. Commissioner Andrews, support by Commissioner Babich to hire Chad Rintala for the meter reader position. Uh, any further discussion? If not, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. We'll move on to item number 7B. Uh, I believe it should say you want to approve for the posting. Proof to post for water piece? No. Proof for, you got a recommendation? Yeah. Stephanie? I'll come on back up. <laughs> so um, at a previous meeting, the commission had approved for posting a va two vacancies on the water crew simultaneously, internal and external, also with a due date of March 21st. For that position, we only received four applicants. We were able to get three of the applicants in for interviews prior to today, and after speaking with the foreman who was present uh, for that interview, we decided we'd like to offer interviews to um, all applicants. Um, we had one with very strong uh, past work experience directly working, in fact, with our crews. So 
Um, I'm prepared to make a recommendation to fill one of those vacancies tonight, but would like to uh, table the other vacancy until our next meeting as we complete the interview process. Just recognizing that so far, the individuals that have been interviewed, there's one that's a standout and has very good work experience. It seemed like they would fit in very well with the work group. Um, and then just giving the others an opportunity for us to weigh out that even though they didn't have the direct work experience, um, say working on a water distribution system or operating equipment, um, but just kind of weighing out uh, our options after full interviews. So uh, if the commission would entertain um, filling one of those vacancies tonight, I would make that recommendation. So you're looking for to approve an outside hire today? Correct. We did not yeah. have any internal I, I don't applicants. Have, did I miss something? I don't have a name here. That's why. Uh, Trevor Sprunk is who I would like to recommend the hire for. All right. Trevor Strom? Sprunk. Strom. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. What will be the wish of the commission? I'll make the motion to hire Mr. Sprunk. Okay. Is there support? I'll support. All right. Motion by Commissioner Bayless, support by Commissioner Babbage to hire Trevor Strum for the water crew. Any further discussion? Just really quick. Mm -hmm. In the past, you know, we've re whenever we've approved, there's been resumes or something alongside. Yes, and we will make sure to share that um, very soon after this meeting here today. I apologize. The um, the resume or the um, conclusion of the last of this meeting was just like an hour ago. So, um, so. Thank you. Yeah, we will get that to you. Okay. Okay. Any further discussion? Here. Well, well I, I just want to point out, and it, it may not be germane, but uh, this is two meetings in a row that we've gotten a pile of crap uh, provided to us as the meeting starts, and everything's stapled together. It's not fair to us to not be able to find Page 9 is the, is the results, page 11 is the results, page 15 is the results. And in this case, the paper wasn't even there. So it's like, you know, in the future, I think it's, it's only fair that there's, some things need to come. Mm -hmm. I understand that, but I think for the benefit of the commission and, and good management, uh, if we get the information, it comes and it's tabbed. Everything has got its own um, um, staple, so they, you know, it's going to got a separate number so we can in, try and stuff it into our package. And in fact, our original package could be tabbed. You know, item six A, six B, five A, five B. It'd be so simple to, sure. to do it. I, I we can do that. It's, Absolutely. It's just, it's, it's a policy improvement mm -hmm. that I think the, the, the commission has the right to ask for. And I would hope that that's uh, just without even having a motion that it just happens. Yeah, absolutely. We'll make sure that happens, Commissioner Garrity. Okay. Any further discussion? Not all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Okay. The next item is our old or new business. Uh, does anybody have any? If not, I'm going to call for. We are going to open up a working session following this meeting. So I'll move to adjourn. Support. support. We have a motion by Commissioner Garrity, support by Commissioner Andrea to adjourn. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you.